The shocking story of a lady who died after trying to increase her bomb size by pumping seasoning cubes into her rectum. The story was made public by the diseased sister. She anonymously posted the story on a blog to warn other ladies of the dangers of doing something like this just to get a bigger bomb. According to the diseased sister, her sister was a student of a university somewhere in the eastern part of Nigeria, which is where her sister met a friend who introduced her to this practice that eventually eventually ended her life. Her sister died sometime last year. Her sister met this friend of ours in the hostel. This friend of ours has a big bomb which a lot of girls were admiring and she asked the girl what the secret to her big bomb is. The girl told her she uses seasoning cubes to enlarge her bomb. At first, her sister did not believe the girl. She just felt um, the girl gave her a sarcastic answer. Not until she actually saw the girl inserting the um, seasoning cube mix inside her bomb. That was when she actually believed the girl. According to the poster, her sister told her about it and they were both shocked at the different things girls are willing to do in order to enlarge their behind. She also mentioned her sister said um, the girl's bum kind of looked weird and they both laughed it off as something ridiculous and that her sister did not give her the impression that this is something she would do so she really paid no mind to it and so they forgot about it and they never talked about it again. Unknown to the poster that her sister would eventually try the secret mix as they called it in order to increase her bomb size. The friend had told her sister how to make the secret mix and had shown her how to use it. She needed to get seasoning cubes, ground it up and then mix it with a little bit of water and then insert it into her rectum using a syringe. She told her sister that this is something she needs to do. On a regular basis in order to increase a bomb size that it works so well now girls engage in this practice with the hope that the salt and oil content in the seasoning cubes will expand the tissues of their behind thereby making them appear larger and rounder but what they fail to understand is that not only is this practice extremely dangerous it can also lead to hypertension and heart failure a seasoning cube contains largely salt and when it is crushed and injected into the rectum the lining on the anus would absorb a huge portion of that salt into the bloodstream. And now, these girls are not just using one seasoning cube, they're using as many as 10, 20. So you can imagine the arm this is doing to their bodies. So the poster sister eventually went on to try this multiple times and she started seeing a significant increase in her bomb size. But she then started experiencing bleeding pains and she was getting some weird discharge from down there she then referred back to a friend who assured her that it was all part of the process that her body is getting used to it and it will soon go back to normal now the poster said that her sister did not tell her that she was doing this okay remember when they talked and she mentioned her sister did not give her the impression that she would be doing this so she never thought that her sister would try something like this she would find out later when things would go south so the effect her sister was getting from doing this practice continued for over a month her bomb was having this weird shape and her bomb was very hard and of course she did not go to the hospital because she knows what's coming she knows what she had done so she kept this to herself and again kept complaining to the friend and um, eventually a friend decided to take her to her aunt's place she said her aunt was the one who introduced her to the practice and her aunt would have better knowledge on what to do so the friend's aunt told um her sister that she had done the process wrong and that's why she was having those effects and that she should have used a different brand of seasoning cubes so initially she mentioned that her sister said she used knorr um, seasoning cubes the chicken seasoning cubes when she was supposed to use maggi seasoning cubes according to the friend's aunt the maggi seasoning cube is much more effective and would give her better results she also said that she should mix the maggi seasoning cubes with soft drink like coke um, Fanta and the likes. And that way the gas contained in the soft drink would help boost the effectiveness. She was told to wait for two weeks so that the one she had injected before would be out of her system before going in with the new mix. You would think that this is where she stops. This is where she says no no no. 
But no, her sister continued. Again, she did as she was told by her friends and and initially, I believe it was somewhat successful because she told her sister about it. She said that was when she actually um, informed her that she was doing this. But she had not informed her that she had done it previously and had gotten um, some side effects. She just told her that this is the first time that she was trying it and that it worked well. She said she called her up on video call and showed her a bomb size. A bomb size was literally like increasing. The poster said she was worried because she knows something like this would have some side effects but her sister reassured her she was good, she was nice, you know, she lied to her basically. She did not tell her about the first time she had used it. So her sister was like, okay, if it makes you happy, fine, you know. She was just like, okay, do you do your thing. Her sister said months had passed and one day someone called her phone, maybe um, a friend of her sister's, to inform her that her sister was in the hospital. And the initial thoughts that came to her was not of the um, secret mix that her sister had been using because now it had been months since her sister had been using that. And she did not even think about it. She just assumed that it was something else, maybe some illness. She said she rushed down to see her sister with her father. After her sister's friend had called her the second time, informing her that it was really urgent and that her sister was severely ill. When they got to the hospital, the doctor that was seen to her sister informed them about the condition her sister was in and how it was brought upon by what she had been inserting into her rectum for months. This came as a shock to the father, of course, because he was not aware. She also said her sister opened up to them about everything, even the first time she had done it, all the um, side effects she had gotten from it, and it was crazy. But unfortunately, the doctors could only do so much. Her sister passed. She said her sister's death was a pain and shameful one. She said she always found it difficult to tell people the cause of her sister's death. It was very embarrassing. I mean, how can you explain something like this to someone? This story is quite a sad one and one that just doesn't make sense. All in the name of getting a bigger bomb. It was said that this practice started in Congo where sex workers were using um, seasoning cubes to increase their backside in order to attract more men and make more sales. The practice soon spread to other African countries like Kenya, Ghana and trust Nigerian women to jump on this practice. Especially now when there is this craze to have a bigger behind. To think that last year or so, there was a viral post about this same practice made by a doctor. A patient had been rushed to the hospital after she had injected 20 crushed seasoning cubes, Maggie to be precise. And according to him, she doubted if he had survived. At the time, there were also several stories, articles, and blog posts about this same practice, warning women of the dangerous effect of engaging in such a practice. And yet, some women continued. These are even civilized women. You know, the women who started this in Congo were sex workers. You know, they were like illiterate. So these women chose to ignore all the warning signs and still inject themselves with seasoning cubes, all in the name of getting bigger behind knowing fully well that they might end up losing their lives. What do you think about this story and this practice that some women are still engaging in? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next one.